we should walk the talk. Jesus did not just live a collection of words, but showed us through action how it is done. Greetings of peace and joy to everyone. This is Sister Ameline Paglinawan for today's Gospel Power. When Jesus had come down from the mountain, great crowds followed him. And there was a leper who came to him and knelt before him, saying, Lord, if you choose, you can make me clean. He stretched out his hand and touched him, saying, I do choose. Be made clean. Immediately his leprosy was cleansed. Then Jesus said to him, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go show yourself to the priest and offer the gift that Moses commanded as a testimony to them. After concluding his Sermon on the Mount with a double note on obedience, acting on the words that they heard him speak, and doing the Heavenly Father's will, Jesus himself descends to practice what he has taught. Immediately, the Father's will becomes manifest to him in a situation of human misery, the plight of a leper. Matthew's description of the way Jesus responds to the leper's plea is striking, although in all probability, the action and words of Jesus were simultaneous. Matthew reports them in sequence. The action first, he stretched out his hand, touched the leper, and then the words, I do choose, be made clean. This must be to highlight the fact that true compassion is best seen in action. The words would have sufficed to bring about the leper's cleansing, but only the touch of the Maker can remake the broken man. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, in times of crisis, help us to be creative in making our compassion felt beyond physical touch. Amen. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name. With you alone to guide us, Make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity so that we may journey together to eternal life and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. 